published an article on Heschel, Kaplan, and Soloveitchik, and the person who really attracted me all these years was Heschel and, and Soloveitchik. And I'd like occasionally to read Mordechai Kaplan, sort of like at a fresh whiff of person who doesn't struggle to make orthodoxy viable in the modern world. I mean, those are, I like people who feel it's not compatible, because I don't think it's compatible. So it's like a certain fresh air. You know fresh air? Someone's not trying to squeeze, because in Berkowitz, Heschel, and Soloveitchik, all three push the modern world in such a way or push the tradition in certain ways that it can absorb the ethos of modernity. Attitudes towards women, attitudes towards non-Jews, attitudes towards power, attitudes towards Israel. They all seem to be taking a similar line, different emphasis, but really fundamentally what joins them together is that Judaism is fund in its traditional matrix can absorb the modern world. The one who felt that it can't was Kaplan. And that's why he felt there had to be a total rethinking and a reconstruction of the Jewish tradition if it is to live in the modern world. For the modern world, he meant a, the secular world, the world dominated by a scientific vision of reality, and by modern democratic sensibilities that existed in America. He's fundamentally an American Jewish thinker who has imbibed and appreciated the American ethos. See, Kaplan represents and this part I find, you know, a disagreement with him that theology and belief systems of Judaism is responsible for the indifference of Jews to Judaism. What if, I remember I met him for the first time when he was in his 90s, I think. And he gave a lecture in Montreal when he came up with a proposal of developing a constitutional convention, calling the Jews together again, that they should recommit themselves to the Jewish tradition. What characterizes his thinking and what makes it so beautiful to me is that the man never lost that vitality that commitment, that interest in saving the Jewish people. You have to sense the passion this man has for the mishpacha called the Jewish people. In fact, for him, religion is meant to serve the Jewish people and not that the Jewish people were meant to serve religion. I remember when I studied in Lakewood Yeshiva, the Rosh Yeshiva got up and says, one mitzvah is more important than the whole Jewish people. Remember Rabban Kutler, and then they used to say, you know, you know why God created parents? So they can fulfill the mitzvah of Kabir Esavich Vesimecha. That was like an interesting orientation. The orientation was fundamental that the mitzvah and Torah and revelation is the foundational pillar of Judaism, and if anything that threatens that undermines the very existence of the Jewish people. He had a different phenomena. His feeling was that the weakness of Jewish people towards their tradition is based upon the fact that many of the 
values of the tradition are incompatible with the modern spirit.